guys, my name is Victoria Paolo, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about the history panel in Adobe Photoshop CC. The history panel is a very super important panel in any Photoshop workflow. Guys, basically using the history panel, you can undo any of your previously applied uh, steps to your current uh, workflow. Let me show it to you. As you can see, I have opened my uh, pumpkin document and next to it, I have opened my um, history panel. In the history panel, I have two tabs. Tab is um, untitled1.psd. It's a name of my file. And next to it, uh, you can see that I have the history brush icon. This icon shows to you that this is the source um, for the history brush. Under it, I have another tab. I have open state. Uh, I don't have any other states uh, in my history uh, panel. Why? Just because I just opened my uh, document. I didn't apply any modifications. I didn't apply any changes to my document. I just opened it. And that's why I have only one state or a step. You can name it as you want. I have only one state open. Right now, guys, let me switch to the uh, mixer brush tool and I will apply one brush stroke. And voila! In the history panel, I have the new state, mixer brush state. Now I will apply a few more brush, so brush strokes and voila again. In the history panel, I have uh, two more uh, state, states, mixer brush states. Now, guys, I will switch to uh, uh, move tool and I will resize my image. And voila, again, in the history panel, I have the new state, free transform. But I don't like um, uh, size of my pumpkin. I would like to be back to my previous uh, size. What I will do, I will highlight my free transform tab, state, and I will move this state to the trash just like that. And what if I want to delete my mixer brush um, uh, stroke? I don't like the last uh, stroke I applied using uh, the mixer brush tool. No problem. I will highlight mixer brush state and I will move this state to the trash just like that. Now using the mixer brush tool, I will continue working on my pumpkin zone. This is my pumpkin. I painted it using the mixer brush tool. Just like that. And I will continue working on my pumpkin. But um, I will continue working on my pumpkin using another brush. And I'm not sure if I will like it. So I would like to preserve the current state of my uh, document, of my workflow. What I will do, guys. So easy. I have two ways of preserve current state of my document. First, I can click on this beautiful icon at the bottom of my um, history panel, create a new snapshot. Voila. And here I have the new tab snapshot. So if after I will uh, continue working on my um, pumpkin using another brush, another color, and I will decide that I don't like it and I would love to be back to this current state of my uh, pumpkin workflow, I will uh, simply click on snapshot and voila, I will be back to this current state of my uh, document. Also, I can create a new document from uh, the current state. I will highlight the last state and I will click on create, a new, create new document from current state and voila. Let me resize it just like that. And voila, guys, here you can see my new document I created from the um, current state of my um, document. Name of my new document is Mixer Brush. So let me be back to my previous uh, document here. And I will highlight my uh, snapshot one. And what if I would like to create a new document from this snapshot? I can do it as well. I will click on same icon, create in create new document from current state and voila. 
here I have new document created from my last snapshot and name of this document is snapshot one so guys I know you will like you will love um, the history panel by default we have only 20 states in the history panel but you can adjust it if you will go to preferences performance here we have history state slider uh, I specified my state to 50 it's uh, plenty states for me if you would like to increase states to a thousand you can do it that well but it's not necessary my uh, number is 50 I will recommend you to have same amount 50 I will click OK and voila so guys this is what I wanted to share with you today I hope you will love you will uh, use the history panel all the time if you if you never used the history um, panel start using it right now thank you for being with me guys and I will see you later bye